He's Sam Jones, host of Off Camera with Sam Jones, which is convenient. DirecTV's audience network. Uh, Mondays at 8 Eastern on DirecTV's audience network. Man, big show last night. I'm sure the ratings are going to show that. But uh, he's interviewed Robert Downey Jr., Tony Hawk, Dave Grohl, Matt Damon, Jackson Brown, Will Ferrell, Ethan Hawk, Jake Gyllenhaal, Cindy Crawford, Olivia Wilde. It's the new Inside the Actors studio. And uh, Sam joins us after last night's epic performance. Hi, Sam. Dan, how you doing? I'm great. How did I do last night? You know what? You did really well. I think you fudged it a little bit on your weight. But other than that, you were, uh, you were great. Oh, you think I'm fatter than what I said? No, I think you're thinner. Oh. I watched. I watched back, and you had, you know, your legs were looking skinny, and I think you maybe 199. Uh no, I'm probably right around 205 to 206 right now. But uh, are you calling oh, me? Oh, so you went up since the show. I got fat. Did I say 202? Wow. You said 201. 201. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit heavier than that. All right. Well, well, it's radio. What's the question you didn't get to? Well, I did not ask you your favorite Danette, which I, I really felt like we missed an opportunity there to cause some inter-office ruckus. Uh, who is my favorite Danette? I'll answer that right now, Sam. My favorite Danette. Uh, I see a lot of myself in Seton, a younger version. Really? Yeah. But my favorite Danette, because he makes my life easier, is Paulie. I can understand that. Paulie was very, uh, very up on the communications. Yeah. So I understand that. Yeah. Paulie yeah. makes my life easier as, as my producer. Uh, it, it goes through him. Uh, I appreciate his uh, insights. And uh, so I'd probably say Paulie is my favorite because of that. Now, I can't see you guys right now. Is, is McLovin crying? <laughs> no, no, no. Fritzy, <laughs> Fritzy might be. <laughs> wallowing in his self-pity over here because he's the most annoying Danette, apparently. Uh, I saw where you have... Well, I, li I listened to the show this morning, and, yeah. and there seems to be a lot of ranking of annoying people this morning. Well, there was a website that ranked the most annoying sports people, and they made it like March Madness, so there, there's a bracket there. Right. Yeah, so I, if they did that with Hollywood, you know, that, that might be interesting. Most annoying people in Hollywood. Well, it would just be a... A tie. <laughs> Every, everybody's annoying in Hollywood. Well, no one would want to vote for anybody. So everyone would, you know, maybe either vote for themselves or, yeah, I, I think it would be a disaster. It would At have... least with sports, there's some, there's some uh, competition there. All right. I saw where you got Leonardo DiCaprio coming up soon. Uh, I would love that. Not that I know of, but uh, are you, if you guys are booking my show and you can make that happen, that would be great. Well, sources close to me tell me that you got a couple of big name guests in New York coming up. We we do have some big name guests coming. We have uh, the Edge from U two is coming in today. That's a, that's a uh, an exclusive. He's coming in today and, uh, in Los Angeles. Coming today in Los Angeles. Wow. Yeah, for airing at a future date. Nice. Yeah, and, and you have to uh, call him Edge, right? U2 fan. You have to call him Edge. I'm going to call him Edge, yeah. Or the I, I Edge? I think that he would not answer if I called him anything else. Well, doesn't Bono, even his mom calls him the Edge, I think. Is, is that I right? think she calls him Edge, Edge, not the Edge. Oh, the Edge, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the only people that call him by his real name are like the, you know, the people at Immigration. Oh, that, <laughs> with his passport? passport. <laughs> give, yeah. me, give me the toughest celebrity to interview. Oh, God, that I have interviewed or yeah. that I can imagine? That you have. That I have interviewed. Yeah. Gosh, you know, that's a tough one. Um, I would say that, uh, I would say when there's, the stakes are really high because I have a lot invested in the person. You know, I grew up in Fullerton where Jackson Brown grew up, and I wanted to talk to him about everything, and I think he wanted to tell me everything, and, and I found it really hard to stop after an hour um, and I love Jackson, and, and I think he's the greatest guy, but I feel like I want that interview over again because we talked about his childhood for about 45 minutes, and I didn't even get to 90% oh, of it. Man. Who's, you know? who's I'm a, sure you have those experiences. Well, yeah, sometimes you, you start on something, and, and then in your mind you go, is this interesting to my audience? It might be interesting to me, and then you, you're not sure, and then you have to make that decision. Do I take you know, a left turn here? And get into some of the meatier stuff, but 
you know, that's the beauty of the show. It's a conversation that you have over the course of an hour. It's not like you have a reset button with a commercial. You're you're going start to finish there. That's right. And you can't you can't you can't judge it while it's going too much or else you're not really listening to the other person. So you have to kind of just accept what's happening in the room. When you interview comedians, it, um, sometimes, like when Will Ferrell was here, I know you had Will on, but certain comedians, it's you're trying to get out of the way to let them be funny, and then sometimes you end up competing with them about being funny. Did you have any trepidation interviewing Will or any comedians that you've had in? Uh, yes. <laughs> I feel like comedians are some of the smartest people in the world. Anyone that can respond that quickly with something that's funny and unexpected and, and um, not stale, I think that's one of the most magical skills of all. And when people like that come in, we had Sarah Silverman and we've had Will Ferrell and some Saturday Night Live guys like Jason Sudeikis. And, and these guys are so quick and sharp and, um, and I'm just, I'm terrified I won't be able to keep up and I won't be a straight enough straight man for them to really do their thing. But I think that's the beauty of off camera is that it, it is a show that is authentic. And part of the authenticity comes from the fact that I don't have a background as an entertainer. So I think that I can't help but fall into natural conversation with these people. And it may not be the funniest thing in the world, but I think you see something out of these comedians on our show that you won't see on other shows. Now you also, you're a, a world renowned photographer. That, uh, I don't know about world renown. Okay, there's well, there's a few countries you know out there. <laughs> Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm you're, now an you're Ireland re renowned photographer. Uh, okay, but you're 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 famous for taking pictures of famous people, right? Right. The the best. Can you? Well, I don't know. You told me one story, and I well, I don't know if we can tell that story. But um, like the most interesting photo shoot you had was with who? The most interesting photo shoot, uh, you know. I would say Chris Rock was a very interesting photo shoot because I had a really specific idea for him that involved him getting up at seven in the morning. And, uh, it was almost, it was almost a fist fight to get to the picture I wanted. Oh. But in the end, I think he, he realized that I was determined to get this picture. It involved hanging him on wires and putting him 15 feet in the air over a fire engine, <laughs> shooting a fire hose with water down onto the ground. And, it was painful and difficult for him, and it was early. And but in the end, the greatest compliment was he. They called and asked to use the photo for their entire North American tour for the tour book because he loved the photo so much. Yeah, Paulie just so, sent it to yeah. me here. Yeah, he's oh, he did. floating yeah. in the air. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know that he uh, went kicking and screaming here, Sam. No, you know the problem was he kept raising the hose up and hitting me with the water, which, hmm. as you can. Guess was not helpful. <laughs> no. I saw where you, there's only a few sports guys, but you got Laird Hamilton, a surfer, Tony Hawk, skateboarder. Yeah. So you. Well, we want more sports guys, but. Oh, you do? Okay. I don't think they. Uh, like, we re we'd love to have Clayton Kershaw because I'm a huge Dodger fan, and I'd love the opportunity to talk to a pitcher from the perspective of him being an artist and, and how he creates a game, you know, and how he throws a curveball and how he uses creativity to to you know psych out a batter and that's a conversation i would love to have and uh so far we haven't made any inroads with with clayton's people but uh that would be amazing to me well it was fun um a little little painful for me to be asked the questions but uh you know great respect for the show and and how you do it sam so thanks again for the opportunity well i'd love having you on dan and uh if we if we had guests on more than once, I'd say come back. But, uh, <laughs> but it, for your for your one and final time on off camera, you were great. So thank you for thank you for doing it. All right, we'll cross paths again. And uh, thanks again. By the way, the guys made fun of me. They put uh, baby crying. Um, you know when I was talking about <laughs> ESPN not loving me or my family, and then they put in sound effects. I don't know if you heard this. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need sound effects for everything. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, well, the Danettes weren't too uh, weren't too lenient, weren't too sympathetic with me with my sad life leaving ESPN. So they roughed me up a little bit. But uh, you know, you you, you got me to emote a little bit, and that's the mark of a great interviewer. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Sam. Sam Jones, off camera, Direct TV's audience channel two thirty nine every Monday night at eight Eastern.